Hey, fire signs. It's me, LaRasha, goddess, queen, just me, 23. And this is going to be your energy reading for the overall fire signs. Um, Aries, Leo, as well as Sagittarius. The song that's on right now is Wukisha by Moneybag Joe playing in the background. So make sure you like, subscribe, comment, as well as share. Hit that notification bell, select all so you're notified when I do post on this channel. If you're new to my channel, new to my face, welcome. If you've been here for a while, you know how we roll. So let's see what's going on for um, the uh, fire signs, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, uh, collective reading, fire signs, collective reading, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, fire signs, collective reading, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, energy reading. So first card, we have the six of wands. So this is getting the praise and recognition that you deserve, right? Fire signs. That's the energy that you want to be in, you know, 24 seven, you want to make sure that you get in the praise and recognition. It's just your nature because of you being a fire element, right? This also represents energy as far as haters. So you got some haters from the Himalayas that's hating on you and what it is that you bring to the table and what you about and what you're meant to conquer. And then other people, you know, seeing you in this light and giving you the praise and recognition. You got other people that's over there like she don't deserve that or he don't deserve that or why her or why him. OK, but somebody definitely sees you for who you are. They see you as a leader. They see you as somebody that is headstrong, a go getter. Right. People saying give her the mic, give him the mic. Right. So songs on right now is Wukisha by Money Max Joe. That definitely could be somebody coming in and giving you the praise and recognition when it comes to a love relationship. Uh, give me the mic. I'm finally ready to, to say how I really feel about this person. Okay, you got a couple of cards. I'm trying to find all my answers inside of this cup. Okay, so let's see. We have fire energy so you have a six of swords we have capricorn being reversed so somebody could be letting go of a capricorn or capricorn we can be letting go of you fire sign if it's not a capricorn it could be untoxic healthy situations lower negative energies alcohol drugs party life right materialistic more focus on greed you know obsession ways if it's a family member friend lovers group certain locations you're letting go of that you're letting go of the negative side of thinking right you all that stuff is to the past, okay? So somebody's definitely doing that. Somebody could definitely, I heard a Capricorn getting demoted. I don't know what that means. My hotel lobby, my nose is itching while I'm saying that. And then you have the energy as far as the world card. You got Capricorn, Taurus, as well as Virgo. So like I said, even if somebody did try to sabotage your well-being or stop you from moving forward, like I said, there is definitely a turn of events. Somebody switching from, you know, the bad part of them and going to the good part of them, that's really them their true representation of what their true path is and what their true journey is. But you have you somebody that knows how to manifest. Like I said, if you are somebody that was, you know, on drugs, on alcohol, was in a bad place, came from a bad situation, a lifestyle, you made a major transformation. You chose to let go of the, the bad part, the negative part, the stuff that was going to keep you caught up. You chose to take control of your life and change things and work it in your favor is what I'm getting from this um, as far as fire signs. But there definitely could be a fire sign that's letting go. So you have this world energy, Aries, Leos, Willis, Sagittarius. You got the five of swords. So there's trickery. There's deception. There was definitely wanting up energy. Somebody definitely felt like that they got one up on you, right? There definitely could be one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm hearing six little wolves. Six little wolves, three of them already defeated, okay, is what I just heard. So you could have three left, okay? And then some of y'all, they have the... Some of y'all, y'all have one wolf that turned good. I said this in some other reading, I can't remember. But one wolf that turned good and now they're ready to defend you. That y'all just conquered three by yourself, right? So... Let's say if it was one, two, three, four, five total people, four of these wolves um, are enemies, and then one of them uh, became good, and then you defeated three of these. So you got one left, just like I said in that other reading. I don't know which reading that was, but I said it was one wolf that was still paying attention. You selling away, going to find, you know, like I said, common waters. This also represents energy as far as a love proposal, a marriage 
um, could come be coming towards you. So somebody could be making a decision to choose you because they see you as the world. This definitely could have been somebody that did sabotage you. They chose to go with naysayers um, first before they saw the good side of the situation with you. So that definitely could be a situation. You got track star coming out on um in of uh, the song so she's a runner she attracts star she gonna run away when it get hard so the thing about it is that you ain't run you okay this song is off of a woman that got scarred from old relationships old situations um you know has a problem with trusting because she, that she always was you know unselfish and she chose to be faithful but got scarred by a lot of different men not saying those men were not the good men they just needed to turn into being the motherfucking emperor but, you know, it's hard to get her to commit. What? Right? So that could be a situation that could be going on with you fire signs or you could be involved with somebody that was in, in that type of situation. So that could definitely be part of, you know, the trials and tribulations that lead to whatever consequences that this person's in now. Now, let's say if they are selling away from toxic situations with that Capricorn energy being reversed. It is Capricorn season, so there could definitely even be major changes as far as things letting go. Mercury retrograde is ending, so people are moving to calmer situations. We all are getting ready to do that collectively, okay? So you have the Page of Swords. Yeah, somebody definitely is in this childish ass behavior. This is somebody that also, let's say, if they did backstab you, that's the reason why there's little. Com com communication between you and this person because this person knows that they did you wrong and but at the same time they have to come in and give you some type of form of apology so this person could definitely be watching you or have other people watching you at this time you have air energy aquarius libra as well as gemini definitely could be a capricorn slash aquarius that could be involved in a certain situation um here you do have with this fire energy this world energy capricorn slash um, so Sagittarius slash Capricorn energy is here now. Okay, so these are the signs. So fire signs, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, uh, collective reading. So let's see, we have the uh, leap of faith to fool the six of pentacles and the ten of pentacles. So like I told you, somebody could be letting go of a situation, the brighter side of, situ of the situation. They're letting go of people that never had good attentions to to them at the first place if there is somebody that's coming back asking for forgiveness definitely could be your masculine being that one person that's like damn i betrayed her now i gotta defend her because now i see you know she or he did not end up being our fire signs did not end up being the way that i thought they were right so now i have to defend this relationship at all costs this is this person doing it putting the time and the energy with this full energy here and then the six of pentacles energy, a giving and receiving relationship. You have this foundation energy as this ten of pentacles. So that's abundance, that's prosperity, that's a good family, a good lifestyle, right? This is you being around people that love you as well as, you know, doing things that are better for you as far as when it comes to family wise. They could be coming in and wanting to build a family or putting a family together, right? Somebody definitely is ready, hoping that you're willing to take that leap of faith. Even if this person did sabotage you, they're gone. With that, that toxic side of them is gone. They gone. They on a whole new level now. I'm on a, a whole new level. So you have Aquarius, Libra, as well as Gemini. You got Virgo energy here. So somebody could definitely be getting ready to take. You got Chronicles. So it says, Cord by Corday playing in the background, I'm on this road and I don't know where my heart is headed. And if you left me now, I know I far regret it. My ear is itching. So that could be a sign of synchronicity for somebody, okay? They can't waste no time, so they know their time is uh, precious. So it says the two of cups, so here they come in with this mutual love relationship. This person still chose to be like a friend, that was really not a friend because if y'all was really friends, y'all be talking, but they did keep some type of form of communication. It was just not the way that you wanted to. It was very immature um, communication on how they communicated with you. Now this person could be wanting to come in and give you, um, you know, go out for a drink and stuff like that after a third party situation. But some of y'all, like there is a brand new start coming in here. Okay. After, so after the pain, I love you. Yeah. That's what, it, after the pain. Yeah, that's the song that this person is over here singing for you, okay? Uh, I can't sing, so I ain't even going to sit there and try to uh, do that. So don't blame Mr. Charlie, because Mr. Charlie, he's just the man, and he's doing the best he can. Yeah, that's that energy. Yeah, look, don't blame Mr. Charlie, because he got clean, he got sober, he let go of them old ways, old situations, 
old whole tendencies is what I'm getting here. And they're allowing this new, there go that wolf that I said in that other reading. I don't know which reading that is. If y'all know what reading that is, put it in the comment, please, for the other viewers. But I'm going to go ahead and end this. So let's get one LOL on the other readings. I didn't do the LOL cards. My finger slipped or the, the camera stopped. So I'm at 10 minutes right now. So this is the longest video that I got to do so far. I'm still trying to learn this laptop thing. So bear with me. So fire signs, uh, one card, fire signs, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, collective reading, fire signs, collective energy reading, fire signs, collective reading. So we have harmony. So like I said, if you left me now, I know I will far regret it. This person is ready to take this to another level. They're tired of running. They're tired of letting, you know, lower negative energies, you know, get in the way of this relationship. This person now got clean for you is what I'm hearing. So you got harmony. So it's easy going, chill, go with the flow, get along with, with uh, get along well with others, a peaceful connection, living a balanced and healthy lifestyle. Moving away from conflict. Isn't this moving away from conflict? That's definitely with the Six of Swords. Moving away from conflict. I'm on this road and I don't know where my heart is headed. But if you left me now, I know I will far regret it. Somebody coming in with a commitment and I'm ending this fire signs. Love y'all. Y'all stay safe and y'all have a good one.